Hi guys, I hope everyone's having a lovely day. As you've read from the title, this is a quick comparison between different battery packs you can get for your Lenovo ThinkPad in specific. And essentially, there's so many different sellers from so many different places. It can be really difficult sometimes to pinpoint which ones are genuine and which ones aren't. So I'll be essentially comparing two battery packs I've bought, one of which is real and one of which is essentially a knuckle and we'll just compare the performance and features of them now i'll let you have a quick kind of guess as to which ones you think are the genuine ones i'll just bring these closer and uh first disclaim that this is the battery pack that came with a with the laptop it's pretty much a giveaway considering uh, i skinned them very uh, like they've got the same skin so that is a normal 24 watt hour battery. Uh, this is my trusty ThinkPad T480. Um, I upgraded to this one from my T440P, which was, it was really sad. My T440P had its trackpad ripped out. So this was the upgrade I made, as I believe this is the final great ThinkPad before they changed a bit too much, but that's a topic for another day. Um, so here we have the two battery packs that I bought. So I'll let you guys have a look and come to your uh, pre-conclusions of which one you think is real and which one you think is the knockoff. So I don't know whether to call it a knockoff to be honest, but um, essentially just made by manufacturers other than Lenovo. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I just switched the positions there, probably didn't. So you've got the top battery there and the bottom battery there. So I guess it's kind of obvious because of one big, big giveaway. But um, for those of you that potentially missed it, um, which I'll go through later, this is the knockoff and this is the genuine battery. Now they both claim to be 72 watt hours so they're the big battery pack upgrade from thinkpad i'll just run through the red flags of these batteries um getting a knockoff so first things first you want to take a look at the packaging they come in now i'll show you the packaging of the lenovo battery and the packaging of the generic battery so I mean, no prizes for guessing which one's the genuine and which one's the knockoff. So the left side is obviously what this came in and you've got the original Lenovo branded packaging on the right here. Um, you can see that it's got a sticker with all the details of the battery. You've got the fact that it's you know manufactured for Lenovo, 61++, 72 watt hours, blah, 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 serial number, everything's there and uh, concise so that's that with a battery warning as well however this one is pretty bland there's nothing here it's pretty similar in a, in the sense that um, it's the same style of opening and closing but it does lack that Lenovo seal uh, that every single battery will come in um, and every Lenovo product will come in so yeah I used a knife to slice through that but ideally it should be closed when it first comes in okay so keep an eye out for that now obviously inside you've got the little this is what the original will come in and the sorry i was just picking it up the fake one came in a little bit of bubble wrap and a anti-static bag so that's that um now going on to the batteries themselves First red flag, obviously, you can just tell the difference in quality. You've got just a sticker. All of this information is like a, a glossy kind of sticker. It was cheap, as you can tell. It's not anything to write home about there. But the original Lenovo, it's it's also a sticker, but it's a nice, it's a higher quality finish. And it's uh, kind of matte. Now, in terms of the information, I'll just, for consistency keep the fake one on top in terms of the information as you can see 
uh, one big difference is the fact that there's a sticker here. And what's under the sticker? Let's just uh, find out, shall we? If I can manage to get this off. Uh, it's not very easy with gloves. Oh, what do we have? We have a Lenovo branding. Yes. Okay. But there's there's a problem with this Lenovo branding in that the E is kind of off. You can see the different font there. And, you know, fake knockoffs have to do this in order to um, avoid getting sued, avoid getting into trouble. Um, so, yeah, do take a look at the branding because there will be some clear differences there. Um, well, it could be subtle for some, but just make sure you take a good look at that. Um, now, in terms of the battery, the serial number, I guess um, if you didn't have an original to compare to, it would be kind of difficult to tell. But essentially, it's just a lower quality sticker. And yeah, there is not much else here that can indicate. There are some differences in uh, the color that you can see as well. Um, and here on the knockoff, it does say 6272 milliamp hours, while on the real one, there is no information uh, about milliamp hours over here, um, unless it's written in Chinese, I'm not too sure. Uh, it does say 6.1 amp hours. So keep an eye out for those. And I do notice that a lot of the knockoffs do come with this uh, specific sticker style. In terms of the back, you can tell the real one is, this is the real one, by the way, uh, in case you lost track. Um, it's a bit more, just a better quality, I guess. Uh, in terms of the plastic, it does feel a bit more weighty. It's a bit thinner as well, this bit here. In terms of width, it's quite thick on this battery, and it's just a, it's just generally a better quality rubber uh, grip and everything. Let's just try and yeah, there you go. It's a nice look at it. Now in the laptop itself, right? Um, I think I'll just talk through uh, some of the problems that you face with this fake one here. The original one, you know how it's going to be, it's just as good as ever. But in terms of the fake one, there's some things to look out for because you will find that, um, I'll just pause to sign in. So what you want to keep in mind is with the fake one, you will get estimation of uh, a remaining capacity similar to that of the real one. This is the fake one in the laptop at the moment. And as you can see, it's suggesting I will get a full six hours and 13 minutes. Um, see, the problem with that is, while it is uh, generally um, good, accurate, um, when you get to about 20% battery to 30% battery, that's when you may uh, get power problems, you may get problems in uh, with things crashing, and um, you will get you may get problems in your Lenovo Vantage warning you that your power settings are, your power drivers are out of date. Now, I can't show you this at the moment, but I've had this problem and I've solved it. However, I think it's important to keep an eye out on um, because as you can see, remaining capacity is 60.38 and the design capacity was supposed to be 72. Um, so the cell cycle count is only six. It should not be this low, but it is because it's a knockoff. So that's the knockoff. Um, and uh, it does seem to say everything's okay at the moment, but um, if you uh, run the battery down to about 20%, that's when problems will start to appear. You'll see that there is a, um, a warning appearing, um, which I may post a picture of, um, that suggests that the battery driver is out of date. Uh, sorry, the battery driver is uh, corrupt or something of, of, of along those lines and you will stop receiving information about your batteries um, and you'll find that other systems in your laptop start to crash you'll find that the battery also takes very long to charge when it's very when it's run down it may take up to um, in my case it's taken up to 48 hours to charge so those are all red flags to look out for 
with the uh, knockoff battery so if it's not essentially bad if you can get one at a very good deal and you always keep it above 50 percent i think at least because you will get power problems and you know if you've got a, a great thinkpad machine if if it's if it's a new one that you spent a lot of money on i wouldn't risk using a um a generic battery with it i would recommend getting an official lenovo uh, battery replacement but if you do have a, a, an older model a t440 a t430 um, I think those should be fine with saving a bit of money to get a, uh, a generic battery. I think it should be fine. But essentially, if you want the best um, experience, I think it's definitely worth looking, um, being careful and looking for an original Lenovo battery because I wouldn't risk to run it using this battery here. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Um, I basically bought it, after which I realized there is uh, not only no returns, but there's it was a knockoff. Uh, so I'd say just be careful uh, on the internet. Make sure you're buying from reliable sellers because there's a lot of uh, fake batteries out there for laptops, not just ThinkPads, but any laptops in general. So this is actually the first time I am installing the brand new uh, Lenovo uh, branded ThinkPad battery. So let's actually, I'll be uh, checking it out with you guys. Let's see if my laptop would like to switch on. All right, so we have 42% battery. Um, let's see. Oh, apparently it's completely dead, which uh, doesn't surprise me because um, it is uh, about three years old, so would have lost a lot of juice before installing. So let's just see the battery details. Okay, so we're charging. We've got the design capacity of 71.1 and the full charge capacity of 71.1. Uh, manufacturer LGC don't know who that is but um, yeah it's <laughs> straight from Lenovo so I don't think I have any problem trusting them remaining capacity 20.98 watt hours hmm that's uh, interesting because a second ago it did say yeah 0% um, it's very strange <laughs> but uh, yeah it could be some kind of reserve battery but um, I may update this later on, um, but that's essentially that about the batteries. Uh, let's see, first use date is today. Perfect. Okay. Well, thank you for watching. I hope that was of some benefit. Again, be careful because uh, when I did install the knockoff battery, I got all the problems I discussed. And um, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do about that battery <laughs> anymore. See, this is taking three hours to charge, but the other one, I charged it for 48 hours plus and it still wasn't 100%. So, yeah, just be careful and leave any questions you have in the comments below. And thanks for watching.